Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here are from the studios in Boca Raton, Florida, from the Eagle Aviator uh, uh, and the Eagle Communications Company, uh, our sponsors. Here you're watching Tech Ed TV with Dr. Edwin Hernandez. I have a host here today, a co-host. His name is Claude Dr. Well, he will be a PhD, Claude, but uh, he's a very good friend, very smart guy, software developer, expert in Angular, and um, welcome to the show. Tell us more about you, Claude. Hi. Hey, um, as you said, my name is Claude, and um, I am in the process of completing a PhD in computer science. I am originally from Haiti. I, um, I had a f my first bachelor in electrical engineering in Haiti. And then I, when I came here in the US, I, had, I did a master's degree in computer science, and I'm finishing a doctorate in computer science currently. So you, you, you were a double E then before before this. Yes. So you, you took like the electromagnetics class. Yes, all these fun classes. All the fun classes. <laughs> so what wh what brought you to, to America? What was the what the, what was the, 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 the reason when did you come to the United States? I, no, there was no really a f uh, clear or simple reason why you come to the United States when you come from when you're from Haiti. When you're from Haiti, um, it's not uh, the, go the goal of many young people in Haiti is to leave Haiti, unfortunately. The, so the, the first opportunity that you get to leave Haiti as a professional, you do that. So that's, there's no a big, like, hard reason why you, you basically leave Haiti. So, but what, what, what is your reason? I mean, like, you got a scholarship, you just nope, wanted to come? I didn't, I didn't get a scholarship. I came here through a sponsor. Spons family sponsor. Oh, so your family was uh, was already in the United States. Yeah, so Claude is a family man. He's a very good man, and um, and then uh, I've been um, I've been following him since about what 2016, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2016. Yeah, and tell us uh, what, what do you do for a living? What was your what's your job today, and what you have done? Uh, let's say what you did this week. Uh, this week I did some um, backlog grooming. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 the that's the mo that's the most fun thing I I can remember that I did today. I had to fix a lot of um, of of issues that we had at work um, with um, processing and so software engineering, generally speaking. So your 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 basically your job title will be software engineer engineer right now. That's that's what you will say. Describe yourself. Yes. And um, with what language programming uh, uh, um, do you do? I use um, many different languages, language programming, uh, programming languages. I use um, I use C sharp. I use um, I basically I use the whole Microsoft stack, along with uh, Angular for uh, f Angular, and we act for front end. Oh, great! So, so you're so how many years have you been working on programming? Let's say oh, like my. If I you, if you look like twenty five though, but like <laughs> if but I if I do, but Claude is a little older than twenty five. That's <laughs> yeah, for sure. Just just a little bit. A little bit. One year. Yeah. <laughs> um, I um, I started. If I don't count college, I I really can say I started software the software engineering back in two thousand three. So from two thousand three to now, it's been a while. So basically, close to two decades then of, of software engineering pro mm -hmm. programming. So you've seen everything. A little more than a decade. <laughs> so you've seen everything from like C plus plus compilers oh, yeah. to like oh, uh, yeah. uh, JavaScript mm -hmm. and to like so. Claude yeah. is uh, an expert in uh, in uh, in this field. And tell me, like, t t tell tell our friends here that are interested in programming. What will be the, your recommendation so they start? Getting into these uh, software development roles, what, what what will be your recommendation? Well, one good thing about software engineering nowadays is you don't need a, de a degree to be a software developer. To be a software developer, there are so many resources on the internet that you can use to become a software a software engineer a software developer. So my recommendation is to would be to start with a uh, with a simple and easy to learn programming languages the language so you can get your feet wet, and once you get once you there you. You you just stay online, basically stay with the stay with the with the trend. You'll see people will tell you that uh, the most the most used the most interesting um, front end front end framework right now is Angular or React. You get you get these advices from people, and then you go from there. So what you say is that people. What would you say people like drop being a software engineer? What would you say people just say like no? I don't want to do it. What would you say? I, what have you seen is the defect in uh, in in people that uh, have failed? People that have failed hasn't haven't started right. I can say uh, before 
I, I remember back, uh, I mean, 2017, 18, right here, I used to teach a class, um, um, it was intro to web programming, and there was another one intro to mobile development. One way I advertise this class is I told people that you don't need to know anything. You don't, have, you don't need to come with any programming background. I would start, start from scratch. And that worked out really well. So you don't, uh, and my, my theory is anyone should have, should know, should learn programming. It doesn't matter if you're a doctor, it doesn't matter if you, whatever your, your background is, it's good to know programming because that helps you, that helps with, with your judgment. So basically someone who drops, someone who says, I don't, I, I don't, lo- I, I don't want to do software, software programming, I guess they don't know what, what it's about. They don't know what's in it for them. That's why, that's why. With, with the right uh, orientation, with the right people around them to, to talk to them, to tell them how important that is, the, the opinion will definitely change. Yeah, but one of the things I think, uh, in my opinion, people usually fail is that they don't have the persistence. They, they think that things are just going to just click and work. Mm-hmm. And when they find the issues and then actually debugging, which is one of the skills mm-hmm. developers need to, to, to gain, then uh, that's when they drop because it's, it becomes too, too tedious. Mm-hmm. And as you know, like programming is nothing that, that you can anticipate that you will fix a bug in an hour. Yeah. Sometimes it will take maybe several days. Yeah, several days. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're stuck with the bug, and then yeah. it's not easy to find. And Patience and persistence. Patience and persistence. Yeah. So, t- so, so in, in that regard, assuming that you have the, the, the requirement that you will be patient, you will be persistent, and then you want to learn something new, uh, I think that you have a class uh, coming on board in the next few weeks. Yeah, is t- tell us about the class. Yeah, actually, yes, I do. It's the same place that I used to do that uh, intro to programming and ent- intro to web and intro to mobile programming. Here, right here. The uh, Eglavator. The Eglavator. We're going to have a workshop. We start um, January 25th, but that's going to be something that we'll do every month. It's going to be a monthly thing that we're going to have here where we will train people and it again it will be it will be a workshop we 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 carefully called it a workshop because it's going to be a hand a hands on i the, the 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 teachers will really work with you one on one to get you to to know the, the basics the basics of angular so so what you're saying is that uh, uh, every month we're going to have a class here at the eglavator two days for two days so it'll be like a like a boot camp in a way yeah and then during this boot camp, people will learn the basics and they will get to an office skills so they can take it to the next level on their own. Mm-hmm. They can go to the YouTube videos, the job market. They, will, they job yeah. market, they can they can give it a shot. Definitely, definitely. Well, then stay tuned. So what's, what's the cost for the class? Um, it's it's only $500. So we're starting at 500 because we want we want people to get interested. And when, once people get interested, they will not want to leave. Because the the uh, the amount of money that you can and and the benefit that you're gonna get just by attending these two workshop, five hundred dollars would never be able to pay that anyway. Yeah, so so, so so it's it's a good it's a good investment for the developers. Exactly. So they can join the the the, the Eglavator for two days with you, and I think I am I am involved too, or somehow. <laughs> I think you, I am. Yes, you are. But uh, <laughs> but we'll be here, so we'll help you. We'll make sure you learn something new, and then you can be ready at least to get the first uh, feet wet in this Angular uh, JavaScript world. Yeah. And about JavaScript, t- tell us how the in in your, in in in, the, in this time frame, your your 16 years, 20, uh, 17 years that you've been mm-hmm. in programming, um, how you seen the evolution of the programming languages? And it's 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 crazy it's crazy things things that you would if the things that w- that would take you days to do now with the with all these frameworks that are available to you you can do them real quick in an hour in an yeah, like very very these these frameworks some my, one thing i tell myself sometimes is so people take so much time to create these frameworks for you what, sometimes I wonder how do they how do they get paid to create all this awesome stuff for you because you don't pay anything. They they're open source, yeah. So so you know you don't. So pay may, may, maybe they do it for the the kind kindness of their heart. They want to kindness gift it heart. to the world. And yeah, and they do get they do get something back, you know. But 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 the make the way they make it they make things easy for a new developer now to start just to start. You just you start you 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 download Angular. You download what you have to download, and then. 
you, 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 you want just a sample commit and you have an application running already. So you just, an application running what, uh, that you're just going to have to customize to make it work the way you want to make it work, but you already have the base of, of things. And tell, uh, and, and tell us about that. Like, for example, one of the, the, the applications that we will work on in, in, the, in the class, in the workshop, uh, what it will be? Um, I have, for each of my classes, what I, what I usually do is I have what I call the basic code. The basic code is what every developer where every uh, student will come to class and download. You download that, that's what we start with. And then, and, and, you, and you build from there. And th the basic code, it, it, does, it doesn't have a goal, it doesn't have a specific goal already. So you, as the student, you can think, okay, here's one thing I really wanted to build in the past, and that then you can gear whatever you, your, your basic code, you can gear it to. In to that work, direction. In that direction. So you'll be free to say, okay, I want, I want to create the next Facebook from my basic code, or I want to create the next Google, whatever. So it, you're gonna be free to create whatever you want, it, but it's just gonna be a start, and we make, we make it interesting enough so you can go from there. Okay, great, so, so people will have a little bit of freedom, and maybe you have that desire to build that whatever app you wanted. Mm -hmm. Then you that's, uh, that's come a big on, opportunity come, to do Come and join us here. What's the dates again, uh, uh, Claude? Um, January 25th, January 26th. January 25th, 26th. 2020. So it's basically 2020, 25th, 26th. There we go. Very good. And it will be 2020, 25th, 26th, and next month. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have to see when is the weekend yeah, because exactly. we, we prepare the, the class for the weekends. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to skip job. You, skip you don't school. Have to skip no, school. Because it's, it's, there's no age to my classes. That's what I, I say too. To my classes, there's no age. Okay. You just have to be interested. You're interested, then let's go. Perfect. So we're gonna post this, uh, Claude, in, in 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 our social media channels, and and you help us post it too. Please share this with your friends. Uh, just click the link below here, so you can go into the sign up page for the class. All right. Thanks again. Uh, thank you, Claude. Uh, say uh, goodbye to our, our listeners. Thank you. I can't wait to have you in my class. Thanks again. And you were watching Tech at TV. Have a great day. <laughs>